Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More. Your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue is Toledo, Ohio. 43617 419 6097. JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com. And find JC's Comics and More on Instagram. And then the Facebook link in the description below. This is Friday, October 28th, 2022. Halloween. Halloween is just a few days away, so you guys have a good, very good Halloween weekend. But I've got some comics here that I begged up from recent collections, so they're ready to go. They're ready for you guys to come by. Um, we're going to do something special with this video. If you come in the next two days, uh, well, between now and Halloween, we'll make it now through Halloween. If you mention this video, you buy any of these comics from this video, you'll get 5% off. you got to mention you saw this video, though. She pick up this amazing Spider-Man. Hey, you give me 5% off. Well, you didn't mention it, dude. But here we go. Amazing Spider-Man 319, 321. I'm seeing if people are paying attention to my videos and see if this works. If it works, maybe I'll do it, uh, do it a lot more. 375, Darkhawk 13, Excalibur 71, Hulk 328, the return of the gray screened, skinned Goliath. Gray skinned. Infinity Gauntlet 5, 6, War, Infinity Gauntlet War number 3, Iron Fist 15, John Byrne, Chris Claremont, The X-Men, Dave Cockrum cover, the last issue of Iron Fist, Iron Man 290, special foil cover, look at that, Marvel Tales uh, number 113, reprints Amazing Spider-Man 135. No, it was 136. Yeah, 136. I think it's 136 with uh, Harry as the Goblin. We've got Marvel Comics Presents uh, number 80 with Weapon X. Of course, they always have two different covers on them. Number 83, Barry Windsor Smith did the art in the Weapon X, also wrote it. You got Sam Keith doing the cover on 100. Jim Starlin wrote, this was his first issue of The Silver Surfer with Ron Lim, brought back Thanos. Bad ass. Thank you, Jim Starlin. Very, very cool. Silver Surfer Annual 5. Spawn number 32, 33, 34. Spider-Man number 6. Spider-Man number 50, by the covered by the late, great Tom Lyle. Spider-Man Classics, number two, reprints Amazing Spider-Man 1, El Milgram cover. Ron Lim cover on this Spider-Man Unlimited, number one. I do have other Unlimited ones. It only applies to the, the sale price, only applies to this one here. And you're like, well, how do I know? Well, we'll have these books in stacks by themselves. Again, say, hey, I saw your video. Where's that stack of comics at? Spider-Man vs. Dracula. This reprints the... Uh, the Ross Andrew and uh, I think J Jerry Conway stuff from uh, what was it Giant Size Spider Man one Venom Funeral Pyre number one again Tom Lyle cover and you got a special prismatic cover look at that Warlock in the Infinity Watch one Jim Starlin I believe wrote this with Angel Medina and doing the artwork Weapon X number one from the Age of Apocalypse. What if Wolverine had been the Lord of Vampires during Inferno? Bad stuff would have happened. Look, it's, it's almost like the same. Well, not quite. Wolverine number 748, the sequel to Weapon X. Wolverine 75, the aftermath of having the uh, skeleton ripped out, uh, the antimantium ripped out of him. Number 85, another kind of prismatic type cover there. Uh, number 90, with him and Sabretooth, final battle supposedly before the whole Age of Apocalypse. Got X Force number 25. This is also part of Fatal Attractions. This is a wraparound cover. And I should have showed you the wraparound cover on Wolverine 75. And look, it's got the hologram there too. As does this. Got X Men 276, 281. Wraparound cover, Wolf Potassio. 283, first full bishop, 286, 298, 303, 
304, John Romita Jr. cover, when John's artwork was a hell of a lot better than it is now. Saddens me to say that, but it's true. This is Theo Attractions also, and you've got Wraparound cover on that also. X-Men number two, Jim Lee, Chris Claremont, uh, Scott Williams. Number 25, uh, Fatal Attractions. This is where Magneto rips the Atomantium out of him. Surprised it wasn't done sooner. Uh, number 41, Legion Quest, part uh, last part before the Age of Apocalypse. God Loves Man Kills reprint. This is part of the uh, Pizza Hut did uh, some X-Men comics. This is still sealed. I think that's got a wraparound cover on it as well. We're going to pause. I'm grabbing the next set of comics. Okay, first appearance of the Metal Men, showcase number 37. Of course, it is a color coverless copy. That's why it's $50. But you can get 5% off of that again if you um, now through Monday, through Halloween. So we'll see. We'll see if people are paying attention to my videos or not. You have to come into the store. This is not, uh, unfortunately... Well, you know what? Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll do it if you know, guys want to call it in and I'll ship it uh, ship it out for you too. Why not? Why limit myself to people who want to give me money? If people in the area don't want to give me money and somebody in Georgia or Pittsburgh or St. Louis or Scottsdale or down in Florida or Denver, Pennsylvania want to give me money, sure, I'll take your money too. Metal Men number Two. Metal in number four. Number five. Great Ross Andrew and Mike Esposito artwork. Number six. This is a less than good condition. That's why it's only seven bucks. Number 16. Mo Doc Magnus. Poor, poor Doc. He is such a, such a, such a, uh, a thing for, for Tina, for Platinum. But you've got iron, you've got lead, you've got gold, you've got tin, you've got mercury. Number eight. This is pretty, pretty banged up. I got this in less than good condition. I think this has, if I remember correctly, there's loose center pages in that one. There certainly is in a couple other one of these two, a dinosaur cover. We've got number nine, number ten. These are good comics. Again, the Ross Andrew artwork and Mike Esposito, man, that killed it for me. Um, I was fans of them before they took over Amazing Spider-Man. Well, before Ross did, at least. Uh, I've got issue number eleven. Two copies of 12. We've got the Missile Men. We've got number 13. Ross's robots are always uh, very undeniably, at uh, first glance, you know it's Ross. We've got uh, Chemical. He's back in issue number 14. And their heads are got chopped off by them, and they're trying to put their heads together because their heads can't work other metal men's bodies. And this might also be the first appearance of Nameless. They wanted to give uh, Tin a, uh, a girlfriend. Number 16, this has, uh, has wooden robots uh, look like uh, their barrels. Now DC presents the robots that uh, who think they're human. Only DC presents the robots who think they're human. Number 17, uh, uh, Doc Magnus is getting married to the, uh, the Paris Hilton robot. There is the dinosaur. The dinosaur is stayed for dinner. Uh, this has loose center pages. That's issue number 18. We've got number 19. The Man Horse of Hades is a uh, robot also. Readers, are you doing your part to name nameless readers? Lists will soon be published. Watch for your choice. They always, I think they always just kept her nameless. Birthday Cake for a Cannibal Robot, issue number 20. This copy here, somebody decided to 
to staple it back together. Uh, the metal mine versus the plastic peril is number 21. There's number 22, Attack of the Sizzler. They changed them. Uh, looks like they changed them in the humans for a while. So cool. Doc could uh, nail platinum. Chemical's back. The Chemical Mattis. Issue number 25. It was always cool seeing him. Number 26. Number 27. The Starling Origin of the Metal Men. Number 28. Gil Kane cover. Ross Andrew had moved on at that point, so Gil Kane uh, did the covers. I think he came on board. <coughs> Number 33. Is there a change in the direction of the metal one? 34. The new Hunted Metal Men. Number 35. 37, they killed the Metal Men, supposedly, and they turned them into humans. The startling new Metal Men, which they weren't really Metal Men anymore. Number 38. Number 40, of course. You know, I can't believe it's not you. Of course, that's Doc Magnus. Spoiler! This is part of the reprints. Uh, Metal Man was canceled soon after that, so they did a line of some reprints. This is when I first discovered the Metal Man. I had these issues and loved them. And issue number 42. Issue 43. Of course, reprinted the Ross Andrew and uh, classic Metal Man. And then they got their own series back for a short period of time. I could never find them and Fortunately, money for me, I, I couldn't afford to buy Metal Men. I was buying too much Marvel stuff at that time. But number 45, 46, you had uh, Walt Simonson came on board, did the Metal Men for a short period of time. And I really liked what the DC was doing with that at the top. I thought that was really good and wouldn't mind seeing that come back. Number 47, 48, Eclipso is back. There's multiple copies of this. 49. There are multiple copies of 49. 49. And I'll have this video, of course, on the shop's Facebook page as well. Multiple copies. As it gets a little bit better condition, the price goes up. Issue 50. Multiple copies of that. They brought back the, uh, the gas... Uh, what they call them? They were. Let me find their earlier. I want to say gas guys, but that's not it. Where are they at? That was during the the Ross Andrew run. I think that's one of the really crappier uh, condition books. Birthday cake for Cannibal Robot. That's where we stayed for dinner. Come on, where are they at? Chemico. And the next one. Nope. I think it was issue six. No. Here we go. The Gas Gang. That's who it is. It's the Gas Gang. Turnabout is fair play, Metal Men. Love that yellow and love that red. Again, multiple covers on issue. 50. 52, again, Walt Simonson cover, The Brain Children. I think Jerry Conway was writing this. Maybe uh, uh, Beige, uh, Steve Babyface Gerber. I think he wrote a few of these too. Multiple copies on 52. Multiple copies on 52. And then finally, we get to uh, 53. Beware the Brain Children. Jim Apparel cover. 54. Green Lantern shows up in this issue here. 54. And then finally, 55. The Metal Men's back. 
or the missile men are back and i think this might have been maybe the last issue it might have been maybe an issue or true but if you do like these videos subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed to the channel smash the bell for notification like that metal missile man is smashing mercury like comment please comment and share 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 other than that thanks again everybody have a happy halloween Aww. thanks